Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex, pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys. So yesterday we have discussed the collapse on markets due to the comments from the Pelosi concerning the stimulus pack that had been rejected an amount on 1.8 trillion dollars. So markets have reacted really negatively on this uh, situation and well, as we yesterday said, theoretically the Polish context has not been crushed totally, so theoretical chance on a, as we call it, rehabilitation exists on the market. This market trying to hold in the current level uh, so the bulls are not giving up yet and is trying to turn the situation. But, for example, on euro currency, you can see the reaction is in general dynamic. Uh, market is trying to do something, but unfortunately, we do not see any significant rebound. And here today, for example, markets continue downward action. Next interesting moment could come only when the market starts flooring with a MACD predictor. Maybe here we'll get some bullish grabbers or something of that sort that will give some more background for a possible upward reversal again. Currently, on the euro currency, it's almost stretched, not very interesting. But at the same time, we could say that that uh, actually, well, yes, the drop was significant on intraday shares, but on the deal, it's approximately the 30% pullback. So it's not really, well, some, something dramatic. So uh, ch chance exists that market could continue up protection. Approximately the same story on on the uh, gold market, uh, but today we mostly will be watching uh, what's going on on the go on on the Great British Pound because on the cable, the reversal action was strongest among all other currencies, and uh, cable stands closer to well maybe some bullish continuation, some completion of the daily target of the retracement. So, in general, as you know, in the medium term perspective, we have negative view on the Great British Pound and we treat this pullback as only as a pullback, only as a retracement, because we have strong reasons to uh, suggest further downward continuation once this retracement will be over. On the monthly chart, we have bearish reversal month here, and that's just a minor pullback inside of this month. Uh, and we have huge reversed hand and shoulders patch. With the approximate bottom of the passion, I mean right right bottom, right arm, bottom around 120, 122 area. These two factors makes us think that we should somehow, by maybe some reasons, some factors, some use, uh, we could get not look down here on the cable, and it should start very soon. Well, maybe result of the elections will will trigger this action. Who knows? Anyway. Uh, Currently, we treat it as a pullback, but uh, at the same time, we have the definite target of this pullback that stands in agreement with the 618 level, 3173, and also this level we consider as potential interesting for possible taking the short position on the cable. As you can see, recent trap here has not harmed the uh, trend, this trend still stands bullish, and yesterday, Great British Pound has shown really sharp upper reversal, mostly, not totally, but mostly, well, erase this previous downward actions compensated by this upward action. So take a look how it uh, stands on the in the charts. So on the fall diagram chart, for example, that is our major ABCD passion. With this drop, C point stands untouched, so ABCD is still valid. And you can see this really fast upward rebounds. So that is good good sign. Um, that keeps chances that market indeed maybe could proceed higher right to this level and complete finally the OP, complete finally touch major 618 level. Yes, here unfortunately we've got bearish grabber, but I have real doubts on the uh, reliability of this grabber because mostly guys, it's uh, just an occasion and combination of the placement of the MACD predictor and the price action here. So after this strong sell-off, uh, appearing of this grabber, well, has significantly less degree of the less degree to, to, to push market to the downside. So uh, 
that's why well you you need to keep an eye on, on this grubber and keep in mind this exists but in general uh, well hardly it will play the major role currently on the markets so but personally what I'm looking for here is uh, an hourly chart that's what we could get actually very fast upper direction extension of this retracement is 120 sounds stands 31 41 mostly in or but say almost in agreement with uh, target on a, on a daily chart so if we will put here 1618 extension maybe uh, this will be somewhere around but I suppose that will be slightly higher than that yes it stands already above 132 area that's why most of the considering 127 and in the current moment we need to be careful with this possible pullback so uh, if market will be able to hold inside of this thing and better if it will st stop tower action at some level for example 30 percent or 618 well that will be great and in this case indeed we could see the upper continuation so if you'd like to try keep an eye on this butterfly um, this will be relatively well not very expensive trade so for example if you suggest that you uh, could take long position around 29.40 stop should be somewhere below 2860 baiting of the butterfly simulation point of the butterfly if downside action will be gradual and slow that will be that could be one of the trading steps that you could consider uh, because as i said cable has shown really first and most significant return compared to all other markets and that's why chances on the upper continuation stands better here on the cable compared to for example in the euro so that's uh, what we'll keep an eye on within the today and probably tomorrow session as well. For the beers, uh, the first major scenario still stands the same. We are watching for 31, 6 to 31, 7 the area is the major level where we could consider taking the short position. Additionally, if this setup will fail, a market will not have the power to turn all situation in the upper direction. So finally, it will just break it down and continue downward action. Well, in this case, it also will be bearish and probably in this case, we should prepare it for uh, further downward action. But in the current moment, well, I, I think that it's not uh, well, not great probability for that. So it seems that market probably uh, still get ch has chances to continue upward action. So that's why we still keep our uh, major scenario intact, and it seems that the chance that it will be finally completed are not really bad.